the Blue Viper Club Dredging Clan has appeared around Kumo City. Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Yes, folks, the dredgers are at it again. Despite the one that we saw around by the Hesperus, another one has appeared, marking the fact that they're going to be more prevalent in the Elite Dangerous galaxy. Now, nothing happens for no reason in Elite Dangerous, so what's it all about? On the 2nd of July, 3307, the Dredger clan arrives at Kumo City. Newsflash came into Galnet. The Blue Viper Club Dredger has entered the Pegasi Sector PN-TC3-14 system and may have links with the Kumo Crew Syndicate. Wonder what gave that away, eh? Anyway, the Dredger class bulk cruiser has taken position near Kumo City one of five starports recently constructed by the pirate warlord Archon Delane. Dredger clans are nomadic, communities that travel the fringes of civilization, but they don't really come into the areas where they're populated. They stay on the outside on the fringes. Now the Blue Viper Club is a fiercely independent tribe with an unsavory reputation. The Dredger clans typically survive by gathering materials and salvage but these people also indulge themselves in criminal behavior. So I got myself over to the Pegasi sector to see what it was all about. Located Kumo City, and before long, I managed to find the dredger really easy. Some lovely worlds, lo lovingly rendered in this part of the galaxy as well. Kumo City is a well-appointed starport with a lot of modules, should you want to get in there and kit your ship out. Finding the dredger that is just a short throw away from Kumo City was quite easy. And dropping in, it does look visually spectacular. That lovely blue Viper Club logo embezzled on the side gives it that extra little bit of flair, a little bit of a nice touch to differentiate it from other dredgers. It's not just the same old graphic, right? So this is blue, red, nice blue Viper on it. What more can you possibly say? Well, I took the ship in to have a good look around as well, but normally we see these dredgers around asteroid fields. No asteroid field here. Though you can see some particles going into the dredger furnace, the masher, whatever it is at the front of that dredger ship. Having a good look around, it does give you an idea of scale, how any material gets sucked in through the front funnel and then mashed up by these massive churning wheels in the middle. Like they say, it's all about gaining materials from space, etc, etc, etc. Probably not a good idea though to get too close to the dangerous bit of this particular ship. Either way, it's a spectacular and nice place to be. Moving the ship in a bit closer, I was able to find four logs to interrogate or four ship log beacons I could go in and scan with my comm scanner. Now, each one I went to, which were dotted nicely around the ship and identified once you do and scan the ship in its entirety. Didn't get too much information out of it though, to be honest. I thought I was gonna get some sort of like flight path or flight plan, nothing really. It was all pretty much don't come near here sort of stuff or we'll feed you to the front of the, de the dredger. Now. We know that this clan occupies more than one dredger from the Galnet article, but they do say they've never entered an inhabited system before. There's been no conflict with local factions or system security. However, they have said unmarked personnel shuttles have been witnessed traveling to and from the dredger, though it doesn't say where from and where to. We're assuming it's gonna be Kumo City. So the article also continues and says, we're looking at a piratical alliance between the Blue Viper Club and the Kumo crew, quite possibly. Is Archon Delane expanding his reach to the Dredger clans or have they brought him something of value they have discovered in deep space? Could this be related to the whole Hesperus and Azimuth mystery? 
We don't know. We just have to wait and see. But like I said at the beginning of the video, typically nothing happens with an Elite Dangerous without there being some sort of a story arc. This turning up here, as it is, and Frontier having going through the effort of sticking a sticker on the side of the dredger, etc, etc. Now that's got to mean something. But what exactly? The pointers we are given are the fact that they deal drugs. They're into criminal behaviour. They're into raiding outposts. Okay? Gathering materials and salvage. This could be the thing we're looking for. What have they found? And they allude to this in the article. Or have they brought him something of value that they've discovered in deep space? What could it be? We just don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. The uplinks gave us absolutely nothing, unfortunately, other than the fact that it was a little bit of a waste of time getting to those particular areas and scanning them. The messages were the same, regardless of which node you went to. Typically, if you're receiving this message, you're on a very dangerous path. The Blue Viper Club does not take lightly to this. We'll feed your ship to the front of the dredger. And that's something you don't want to happen. Either way, there was no other ships around this area. It was just the dredger. There wasn't even any shuttles flying back and forth, as it says in the Galnet article. Um, we weren't challenged either when we went and approached the ship. Nothing came in. Either way, though, it is what it is. It's a nice piece of in-game material that's yet to have a story built around it. Or if it has got a story built around it, it's yet to be revealed. So, what else can you do in this system? Well, fortunately, down in the Pegasi sector, PN-T, C3-14, there is Kumo City. And Kumo City, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is quite well appointed to kit your ship out with some A-rated modules. There's only a few I think they haven't really got as well. So take advantage of that as well. So, I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching this brief video on the Blue Viper Club Dredger and what this could possibly mean for us in the Elite Dangerous Galaxy. Could this be a new clan, a new power? Are they going to align themselves with Archon Delane? Another set piece? Will they have us dashing around the galaxy? Who knows? Either way, it's something we're going to have to wait and find out for. Thanks very much for watching. Check back for more videos in the series and I'll see you soon.